Hello and welcome to Malt Hops and Fiction. It's time for another beer review and today we've got a really exciting one which is from Devil's Peak Brewing Company. It's the fourth release in Devil's Peak's collaboration series and it's a collaboration with Amundsen Brewery in Norway. It's the Chock Shake Imperial Stout. It comes in this really cool looking can with this reddish pink and white barber pole pattern on it. Devil's Peak do a great job with these special releases giving them really cool and distinctive uh, designs on the cans or bottles. Just looking at the back of the label here, it's 8.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, ingredients malt, oats, lactose, cocoa nibs, water, hops and yeast. So looking at that expecting something with a nice chocolatey flavor, uh, thick creamy texture from the oats, the lactose giving it a nice um, sort of milky sweet quality to it. And it sounds like all the right ingredients for a nice boozy chocolate milkshake. Clocking in at 8.5% ABV. It sounds delicious. So let's open this can and pour it into a glass. I uh, bought this from Observatory Bottle Store. I work very near to there, so whenever one of these new Devil's Peak releases is coming out, I always rush down there at lunchtime to pick some up. So a very nice dark colour, um, close to black I would say. Yeah, pretty much black. The head is a tanny sort of colour, fairly light head. Looks very good. Let's give it a swirl and take in the aroma. As expected, pretty chocolatey. Quite a lot of carbonation, sort of fizzing as I swirl it there. You can definitely smell a bit of alcohol as well. A bit of a sweet caramel or vanilla aroma there as well. The aroma is fairly subtle. I've, I've certainly smelt um, stronger or more bold aromas on, on stouts such as this. It's certainly a very enticing aroma and I can't wait to have a taste so let's go right ahead and do that. Well that's pretty delicious. That's really really nice indeed. Um, nice strong flavours with the chocolate, it's pretty sweet as it goes down, a little bit of a lingering bittersweet aftertaste. It's perhaps not quite as chocolatey as something like Young's Double Chocolate Stout, I think I got a more of a dominating chocolate uh, flavour from that, whereas this seems to be a little bit more balanced between a few different things like a little bit of vanilla. Uh, the alcohol as well, you can taste that. It's not this, a very strong warmth, the alcohol, but it's definitely present, you can, you can taste it in the flavor. And you can sort of feel it afterwards as well, just in the back of the mouth. It's a nice medium to full body on it in terms of mouth feel. Kind of enough body to like, coat the inside of your mouth, give it a nice lingering flavor. And the alcohol is not too strong or harsh, uh, it balances the malty sweetness very nicely, especially in the finish, it's got that nice sort of bittersweet note to it. And yeah, it's really delicious. I'm going to pour a little bit more into my glass here. It's a thin little head, it doesn't hang around for too long. It's a really good, robust stout, good levels of sweetness. Certainly it would be very nice as a dessert, beer, or equally enjoyable anytime as I'm having it now in the late afternoon. But obviously being an imperial stout, not a sessionable beer, not something I'm going to be drinking a whole bunch of, but I'm going to enjoy drinking the ones that I do have over the next little while. And in terms of rating this beer, well as a benchmark, um, Devil's Peak 
one of their previous collaboration beers was the Imperial Cafe Racer and I was a huge fan of that beer, it's probably my favorite of all the Devil's Beak special releases that have come out. And I rated that 4.2. I think with this beer, I'm not sure if I enjoy it more than the Imperial Cafe Racer, but I'm certainly en enjoying this as much. So I'm going to go ahead and give it the same score, I'm going to give this one a 4.2 as well. Another really good dark beer from uh, Devil's Peak Brewing Company and in this case Amundsen Brewery from Norway. And because Amundsen Brewery is a brewery from Norway, I was trying to think of a book that had some sort of a Norwegian connection to it. And the one I just settled on is 633 Squadron by Frederick E. Smith. Now this is a World War II story and I love World War II stories, especially ones like this which are sort of daring adventure thriller stories about a raid. In this case about a squadron of mosquito bombers who sent to destroy a Nazi rocket fuel factory in Norway in a, in a fjord and uh, it's a very exciting story. It was made into a, a pretty good uh, film in the 1960s and a good bit of nerdy trivia for you. Um, the Death Star attack at the end of the first Star Wars movie was very closely based actually on the movie scene of the mosquito bombers attacking the uh, Norwegian fjord. George Lucas was very influenced by that movie and if you watch them side by side you can see loads of similarities between the two. So yeah, if you're looking for a, a cool adventure thriller story, 633 Squadron is a really good one to check out. My last review was the Young's London Stout and I certainly didn't intend to release two stout reviews in a row but with this uh, special release from Devil's Peak coming out I thought I'd um, jump in there and review it straight away and it, I'm really glad that I did that. It's a delicious beer and highly recommended. Now, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, uh, please click the like button, also share the video on social media, subscribe to the channel and also come follow me on Twitter, come check out our Facebook page and also find me on uh, ratebeer.com and untapped. You'll find loads more uh, beer reviews and ratings there and I hope you'll join me for another beer review soon. Uh, this was the Chalk Shake Imperial Stout from Devil's Peak and Amundsen Brewery and until next time, cheers! Thank mm -hmm. you.